right, we're going to watch another one of these uh, Israel moments. This was Israel moment number 47, a little clip from it. And uh, again, he shows his extreme ignorance of Scripture. Let's watch this. You won't believe this boo-boo that he makes. The Old Testament temple was destroyed. And in the New Testament, the Bible makes it clear that the local church is the house of God. That we as God's people, when we assemble together, make up the house of God in the New Testament. Not a physical building that was destroyed in AD 70. Okay. Um, let's look here and see what the Bible actually says. Matthew chapter 24, verses 1. We're going to read down through here. And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. Was there a physical temple in the first century? Yes. Continue reading. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Did it happen? Yes. 70 AD, just a number of years later, the physical temple in Jerusalem was destroyed. Is there a physical temple on the Temple Mount today? You say, yes, there is. Yes, the Dome of the Rock, the Mosque of Omar. All right? Shouldn't be there. They have no right to put that Catholic dome there. You say, well, uh, what's going to happen to that thing? Is there going to be a rebuilt temple? Well, if you're Anderson, you say, oh, it's actually just local Baptist churches. You know, and he says the Bible says it's the local church. Uh, no such term local church appears anywhere in your King James Bible. See, Anderson continually will say the scriptures say, the Bible says, the Bible says, and you look it up and it's not in there. Nowhere in the King James Bible. He's a liar. And we know who his father is. But look here in Matthew chapter 24. Verse 15, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Tells you the location, then which be in Judea. So it's over there in geographic Israel. Hmm. So there must be a local church over there that's a Baptist, independent fundamental Baptist church in Judea, where the Antichrist is one day going to stand up and, and things. No, it's going to be the rebuilt, rebuilt temple in Jerusalem. And if you want another tie into that, if you've seen the other video, you know where I'm going already. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Right here, we're not going to read the verses, but right there, you can read them yourself. The description of the man of sin, the son of perdition, the Antichrist. And right there, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Temple. Physical temple in the time of Jacob's trouble with the Antichrist sitting, sitting in it. And isn't it interesting that right now Jerusalem has made an agreement with the Pope of Rome that he will be able to set up his, his throne in Jerusalem in 2015. Isn't that interesting? How about that? Yeah, how about that? You say, Brian, do you believe that the Pope is the Antichrist? No, I don't believe that Pope Francis is the Antichrist. I believe his position, his seat, is the seat of the Antichrist. I believe what's going to happen, it's going to be the greatest, one of the greatest PR events in all history, and it will be... When the Antichrist shows up, he's going to be, he sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. See, he believes, he's going to say that he is God manifest in the flesh. Well, who's the only man that ever did that? Jesus Christ. So when the Antichrist shows up, he's going to look like the paintings of this Jesus Christ guy. And he's going to show up, and I believe the PR event's going to be that he shows up, he comes walking into Jerusalem or Rome, I'm not sure which, where he's going to show up yet. But he comes walking in there and the Pope is going to kneel before the Antichrist and he's going to take off his crown and he's going to hand it to the Antichrist or put it on the Antichrist's head. Maybe he'll take it off, put it on the Antichrist's head and then the Pope will bow down and do reverence before the Antichrist. The Pope will remain the false prophet. There he will be the false prophet. But the Antichrist is going to take up the position of the supreme pontiff. Vicarious Philly D. He is going to be the ultimate Pope, the final 
pope. I believe that with all my heart. And he's going to sit himself up in the physical temple in Jerusalem. And some people say, well, it could be built. Maybe it doesn't have to be that the Mosque of Omar is destroyed. And maybe, you know, it could be built someplace else. The temple's built someplace else. And they're already, you know, trying to build the temple, by the way. They already have the, the vestments and all the other things. And they're trying to get the red heifer and all this other stuff. It's fascinating. They're, they're making the golden menorahs and stuff, and they're, they're already getting everything ready for the rebuilding of this temple. And the poor Jewish people, they don't even realize it. They don't realize that they're falling right into Bible prophecy. That's why I make these videos, to warn you if you're Jewish. Get saved. Jesus Christ came. He died on the cross to pay for your sins. He is your Messiah. You are not waiting for your Messiah he already came, and he's coming back. And it's not going to be the Antichrist. It's not going to be the man of sin. And liars like Stephen Anderson are making Jewish people, the dear, the dear Jewish people, are turning on Bible-believing Christians like myself, thinking that we all hate you. We all are against you as Jews. We're not all against you. I defend and support the nation of Israel. And so do many of my brothers and sisters in Christ. You can see their comments down there in the comments section. Watch out for Stephen Anderson. This guy is so ignorant of Scripture, he is willfully ignorant. Don't watch Stephen Anderson.